Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening this can of 1950s quail eggs in water. Five or six pieces. Now this can is under extreme pressure. See the ends are both bulged out. The pressure is still there. It has never leaked. Take a look at that. Cannot even press it in. Extremely under pressure. Still watery in there. Don't hear anything other than the water moving around. We'll see how the eggs turned out. See, there's minor rust here. Now this other side has a little bit of rust here. Because this was sitting on a shelf and it must have got rained on or something. And it sat here for a while in that small groove. Today we're going to open this up and perform a few tests. We're going to see exactly what's inside this. Back then, we're probably going to find a lot of iron and lead. Back then, they sealed all the canned foods with lead. And eventually it leaches into the food. Back then, it wasn't that big of a deal because you ate your canned food within a year or two. That did not give it enough time to leach in. But after sitting around for nearly 70 years, we're going to see what's happened inside. So I go ahead, I'm going to get my can opener. And we're going to grab a bowl. And we're going to see what's inside this can. We're going to open it up from the bottom. So on a display, it still looks unopened. I have just put safety glasses on and a mask, just in case this stuff wants to spray. I'm going to try to block it, though. Whoa, that's a big spray. The can is also misshapen. Can openers have a problem getting around that. Oh yeah, it smells. You can smell it. It's not. Doesn't smell like rotten. It smells like metals. Come on. Doesn't want to get around the humps. There we go. Ugh! Yuck. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not, but. There's no solid egg. We just spilled it all over the place. Kind of looks like milk. All right, we're going to take a few tests on this. See exactly what's inside this. Go ahead and dump it out into the bowl. Nope, there's nothing like egg in there. The bottom is a really pasty. Look at that. This smells like actually like fish. It smells like raw fish. Once you get into this area of it. Look at that. I can't compare this to an egg at all. It's giving me a more of a fishy smell. Canned fish or something. That's really yucky. Alright. Go ahead and put that off to the side. Now, right here. Looks kind of milky, right? But it's transparent enough that we can take a test. Ordinarily, this is the test I use. I've used this in previous videos. It works great. In any kind of substance like this and it will tell you what's in there I'm also going to be trying a new one today that I haven't tried before these tests are usually stuff you'd buy to test your well water at home so go ahead grab one of the strips out of here and it's going to dip it down inside make sure I'm covering all the tabs knock it off a little bit 
and they'll start changing colors and it'll tell us if there's anything bad inside of the liquid. I can almost guarantee there's going to be. Go ahead and take the other strip here. This is one I've never tried before. It's actually in two bags, so you don't have to open the entire thing at once. And this one's actually on a piece of plastic. The other one's on a plasticky piece of paper, though. You know, plastic coated paper. Go ahead, get each one covered in that. Knock it off a few times. Put it over onto the paper towel. Let it sit for about one minute. All right, we're gonna take a look at this test. These here, I know how to read them. They're not exactly accurate since it wasn't completely clear, but obviously orange is telling you there's something wrong. So the total alkalinity is around 80. The pH is around 6.5. The hardness, I'd say around 50 or so. The iron is off the charts. It would be around six or seven parts per million. The copper, I don't think there's any copper in this. Lead, probably around five parts per million, which is not terrible compared to some things we've seen before. There's no fluoride. There's uh, no mercury, no nitrate, no nitrite. And that's about it. There's nothing else in here. There's a ton of iron and some lead. And let's go see what the other test Basically, it's probably going to give us the same result, assuming it's accurate. Lead. This one's telling us, yep, there's definitely lead in here. Around more like 15 parts per million. No fluoride. Iron, again, is off the charts. Yep, around 6 or 7, just like the other one said. Copper, it's possible. No mercury. No, no chlorine. No nitrate. No nitrite. The pH is around 6.5. And... Alkalinity is really extremely low, like 10 or 20. The hardness, not too bad. No aluminum in it. No sulfate. All right. So it's definitely not safe to eat. And at this point, I'm pretty sure it would put you in the hospital. Just the smell of this is not normal. It's just been rotting for the past 70 years. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.